What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden, at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad? Fuel Island shenanigans. Guys, unfortunately, I do not have the video for this. I wasn't able to save the video. I thought I saved the video, but I went back to find it to bring it to you guys for y'all enjoyment. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to save it, but... I do have the audio, so I want you guys to sit back, relax, and enjoy. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Now hold on. Oh, this guy's taking a break. Taking his half an hour break. My co drivers in You're taking your half an hour break. I fueled up 150 gallons. You've been sitting there for a half an hour. No, it hasn't. I've been I've been there for fucking 15. Care, well, you don't care. Well, fuck you, asshole. This is the company. This is the asshole driver. He doesn't want to fucking park over there. The parking spot is fucking empty. The parking spot is fucking empty right there. You don't want to park over there. You want to you want to tell me to fuck off, but you don't want to park right there. You're two minutes away. Just move and park there. Just go. And I'll delete this video. Like, it's not a big deal. You're right there, bro. <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> no, you won't. You would tell them that you would delete the video, but no, you won't. Eventually, it will be over the internet for people to enjoy. Be professional, man, come on. Just be professional, just go right there. You're a professional, man. Please, just go right there, why? I've been there 10 minutes, the parking lot is right there. Just go. No, this guy's taking a break, taking his half an hour break. Like You're taking your half an hour break. I fueled up 150 gallons. So, drivers, I know this is what we all go through. We we all go through this. There's a driver that's taking up time in the fuel island. Precious, precious time in the fuel island. I'm not going to go too much into details about what's, what's all this entail because all of us went through it. Here's part two. So the parking is right there. Just go right there. You are a professional. If I go inside, then the guy behind me is going to be waiting 15 minutes. You can act like that all you want. Just act, act like a professional. Act like a professional, bro. It's right there. You're right there. You're right there. Literally two minutes. You're right there. Just go. Please. Come on, I fueled up, I'm ready to move up. You've been here taking your break. Don't be lying. Now, you know what? The guy that's recording, I can understand if he's already done and ready to go. Like, bro, like this would irritate me too. I mean, if I'm, all, if I'm done, and f done fueling, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go in, get my receipt, come back out to the truck and get ready to go. Dude, you holding me up regardless if your co-driver is in the truck stop. Now, I kind of kind of tend to agree with the guy recording because he can move up and move into a parking spot while his co-driver Listen now, co-driver is in there doing whatever he's doing. This driver right here, which behind the driver's seat, which means you can drive, which means you can pull up and pull into a parking spot and wait for your co-driver. Especially if the driver behind you is ready to go. That's where the irritation comes in at. Let's continue. Just move up. Right there. You're laughing. Ain't nothing funny. You're you're the, you're what's wrong with the industry, bro? You can sh you can shake your shoulders, but you're acting like a complete moron. The parking is right there. Just be a professional. Just be a professional. No? Now he's going to the back. I'm gonna take this video, go inside. I was asking buddy to go park over there, he won't go. Oh, 
No, it wasn't two. I've been here for like 20 minutes behind him. I fueled up a hundred and. You were behind him more. I sat here. I I filled up. I filled up 150 gallons. I don't care. No, you don't. Film me. I am gonna film you. Nothing wrong. There's you guys everything come in here and fuel and just sit no, and don't do that. That's nothing. what you guys are doing. That's what you're doing. I feel the fucking truck and pulled ahead. I don't think Did so. Did you not pay attention? I've been paying you attention. You're looking at fuel tank. It's going to be full. Yeah, but so after you move. You don't, did move. You don't, you're, taking, move. you're taking a half an hour break. That's what oh, you're no, doing. You are an idiot. No, you are. I fueled up 150 oh. gallons and you guys are acting like idiots. Good luck. So the Okay, so I'm confused. <laughs> I, I, i'm confused drivers so this older gentleman came out i'm assuming he's the co-driver so he came out and said yeah of course i moved up i did what i was supposed to do uh but your other driver is in the driver's seat so i mean uh, was you driving or was the co-driver driving? Who was driving? Because the guy that went up to the truck saw this guy that was in the truck, and he clearly could have moved the truck out of the way for him to go on about his business. It wasn't a couple of seconds. It must have been a lot longer. I mean, average time to fuel up, let's, let's break it down. Fuel up, get some death, clean off your windows, 15 minutes, tops, right? Pull up about another 10 minutes to run in, get your receipt, probably use the bathroom, probably grab something to eat. Come back out, you're 20, you're about 25 minutes in. So let's just round that up to like 30. That that will probably be your full 30 minute break. Now I understand you probably might go off duty. Now, this is what some people do. You go off duty for the additional five, or you're off duty. And you're just going to wait the additional five until your clock resets. But here's the problem. I mean, I, 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 don't, I, I don't see that as a problem if you're doing what you're supposed to do. 15 minutes to fuel, maybe a little, maybe about 10 minutes to go in there to take care of your business. And then you got about five minutes to spare. But. If you taking a little bit longer than most, then yeah, bro, you're disrespecting. You're disrespectful. You're holding me up. I, I'm done. After I get finished fueling, you still here. So I'm going to go in, grab my receipt, and I'm going to and I'm going to push the other guy back, push his time back. Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to come right back out after you move, move up and take about another 15 minutes. That's not fair. That's not right. That's right. Not right. Not, and don't get me wrong. I understand why a lot of us drivers feel the way we do about drivers holding up the fuel island. But let me stop right there. That is no reason for drivers to go and mess with their equipment though. Now, if you wanna, if you wanna face off, if you wanna face off, that's fine. Of course, a lot of you drivers is gonna do that anyway. Y'all gonna break out your camera because it's a camera culture and y'all gonna record the interactions. And of course that interactions is gonna be right here on the internet let's see what some of these comments has to say this first commenter says parking is right there but he didn't know how to park <laughs> this commenter says the way i was taught in school fuel pull up don't go inside until you pull up 
stay pulled up for more than 15 minutes or don't stay pulled up for more than 15 minutes. Facts. This commenter says, good job, bro. Most people don't care and just park and leave the truck and go to the restroom for more than 30 minutes. Now, especially if you got to do a number two, it's going to take more than 10, 15 minutes. You're going to have to sit down. You're going to have to get comfortable. You're going to have to dump. And yeah, this commenter says, if he moves the electron, if he moves the electronic logbook will start. Let him take his seven minutes from the break. That is so true. Maybe, maybe if the conversation between, you know, driver A, the one with the camera, and driver B that was sitting in the seat, maybe he could have turned around and said, yo, bro, I got five more minutes, man. That's it. I got five more minutes. Let my five minutes run up. You know, my co-driver's still inside. If he's still inside for four to five minutes, I'll move up and pull in the parking spot. But that conversation didn't happen. This commenter says, truckers used to be considerate. The gentlemen of the highways. Professional, safe, courteous, and helpful. Now they're just steering wheel holding goofs. Yeah, the gentlemen of the highways is no more. No more. And we're not we're not steering wheel holding goose. We're just toxic, bro. We're just toxic. Big G's got it locked. Boy. Want you to love me all night, yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real wet, yeah, swim around. Want you to take it like a G, yeah, don't make a sound. And I want you to miss me when I'm not around. Come dive in my ocean for my boy. Over you, you are over me, cause you my love.